Mr. Brock. Thank you, Chair, and thank you, witnesses, for your attendance today. So a question now to uh, Acting Chief Bell. Uh, to invoke the Emergencies Act requires an emergency that arises from threats to the security of Canada that is so serious to be a national emergency. As you know, uh, Chief Bell, the threats to security of Canada has the same meaning as assigned by Section 2 of the CSIS Act. You, and uh, to a question to the Deputy Chief, there was absolutely, during the entire period of this occupation and thereafter, zero evidence of any espionage or sabotage against Canada. You'd agree with that? I have no information around that. We conducted no investigations into that. No evidence of foreign, influ foreign influenced activities within or relating to Canada that were detrimental to the interests of Canada that were both clandestine or deceptive or involved a threat to any person, correct? I don't personally have any knowledge of that. No activities within or relating to Canada directed toward and support of a threat or use of acts of serious violence against persons for the purposes of achieving a political, religious, or ideological objective within Canada, correct? No evidence? Well, so it de depends on, I think that that one is more open to debate. We did see acts of violence that occurred during the you saw You saw acts of violence which resulted in four criminal code charges. There was no serious violence by way of aggravated assault, assault causing bodily harm, attempt murder or murder. That is serious violence. You're a police officer. I'm a former Crown attorney. You'd agree with me, sir? We did not lay any of those charges. Thank no. you. And lastly, no evidence of any activity directed toward undermining by convert on lawful acts that were intended to the destruction or overthrow by violence of the constitutionally established system of government in Canada. No evidence of that. We did not investigate or lay any charges in relation to that. Thank you. My colleague Glenn Motts indicated and you confirmed that you did not request the Government of Canada to invoke the Federal Emergencies Act. Mer that Federal is Emergencies Act, sorry. That's correct. There was no direct request made from the Ottawa Police Service. Were you ever consulted by the federal government on its invocation? Uh, that, would, so that would be a difficult question for me to answer, as I only became the interim chief at the point which... Uh, the act had been invoked. Okay. Those would have been conversations that would have occurred between former chiefs slowly, if right. they did occur. Thank you. Um, Minister of Public Safety, Marco Mendicino, on 13 occasions in the House of Commons, in committee, through the press and media, confirmed that law enforcement asked for the invocation of the Emergencies Act. You'd agree with me, sir, that both statements, your statement that you did not ask the government and uh, Minister Mendocino's multiple statements that law enforcement asked for it cannot be accurate and true at the same time, correct? So I don't know what conversations would have had been had between former Chief Slowly and um, the federal government. What I can say is the Ottawa Police Service never made a direct request for it. Correct. There, so my, my point is, both statements can't be true at the same time. Would you agree with me that Minister Mendocino has lied to Canadians and perpetrated that lie on numerous occasions? I don't think I can make that statement. Further, uh, Minister Mendocino indicated that we got advice from our law enforcement that we met the threshold to invoke the Emergencies Act. You will confirm that you did not uh, indicate that, did you? No, but again, I was not involved in those discussions prior to the invocation of the Act. 